get comfy because today we are going to talk all about lino cuts. What is lino cut printing? Lino cut printing is a printing process where you carve onto linoleum, hence the term lino. You can carve on wood as well, block printing. The places where you carve are going to be white or have no ink on them. The places that you leave and do not carve are going to be raised and have the ink on them. And that is the image that is going to be transferred onto the paper. I was first introduced to lino cut printing when I worked at Polu Gallery on the North Shore in Hawaii, in Haleiwa. I was in sales, so I started to notice a pattern of one of the best-selling artists at the gallery. And it was an artist named Stephen Keen. And he creates these big block prints of waves. Even originals at larger sizes at higher price points were selling consistently as compared to other artists. And plus they just looked really cool. So I kept a note of that. Side note, watching the artists at Polu Gallery <laughs> come in drop off their prints and their paintings and then go back out to like surf all day I was like uh <laughs> I want to do that when I grow up <laughs> it was my first introduction to lino cut printing or block printing I wanted to learn more so I went to YouTube University and at YouTube University I started to see these amazing like process videos of lino cuts maybe it is my calling because when I saw these videos, I became obsessed. I was like, ooh, I gotta do this. Around 2020, it might have even been a li little earlier than 2020, I bought a carving set and all the materials I would need to get started, which we're gonna cover. Uh, I haven't had to buy anything new, so I literally bought all, like everything I'm gonna say, you can get started with what with the supplies that I list here. It took me a while to actually start printing because I was like really nervous to work with sharp tools, but I did eventually get around to starting. I've been lino cutting off and on ever since. I don't have proof anymore <laughs> because de deleted all the footage on my old phone and then manic pixie delete girled my <laughs> TikTok and Instagram, but I did do lots of lino cut printing process videos and they always seem to perform really well. So that's always motivated me to continue because I love to entertain, clearly. That's the backstory of lino cut printing for me. What do you need to get started? We will start with the, to the carving tools because that's your main tool you're going to use. This is the brand that I use. It's called File, I think. Swiss made. They are a really great set of tools and I will show footage of what they look like up close. They have a really great grip, wooden handle, very comfortable to use. I've been very pleased with them. I think that they're a good investment piece. As with any art medium, I recommend you buy mid-tier tools and materials. I wouldn't start out with the cheapest tools of any medium because you're just straight up not going to have a good time and then you're going to be turned off to the medium. Then again, you don't need to buy the most expensive because what if you just decide you're not interested anymore and then you just blew like a thousand dollars on supplies. Been there, done that. Start with mid-tier. I would say that file is good, a good mid-tier set to start with. Okay, then this is a safety thing here. You need to make sure that you have a blade sharpener or like your tool sharpener. This is what it looks like. And um, there are videos on YouTube that will show you how to use this. It's like sanding chalk that you like do like this on there and then swipe your blades across it and that will keep your tool sharp. I sharpen my tools before I get started, while I'm carving, and then um, I don't always sharpen at the end, but I make sure I do always sharpen when I get started. You'll notice if you have to start bearing down and pushing really hard against the linoleum, 
that you need to sharpen your tools because if you don't have if you have dull tools that's going to lead to mistakes slippage injury and we don't want that those are the tools you need to carve into the linoleum Ooh, um need to get linoleum okay i bought like everything i needed on like jerry's art arama or bic or blick or whatever it's called battleship gray linoleum blocks i cut these down to size because i had a plan for these ones it does expire so you don't need to buy a ton like don't stock up too much on this stuff because as it ages it starts to get brittle crumbly and um stiff you want really soft supple linoleum so i mean it's gonna take a while for it to go bad but um if it's like 20 years old like it's time to retire it one tip i have if your linoleum is feeling very hard when you're trying to carve into it and you've already sharpened your tools of course you can blow dry the linoleum a little bit because the warmer the air the softer the linoleum will be if it's freezing cold dead of winter um I would have a blow dryer on hand to keep your linoleum nice and warm. I will show you an example of a print I did last night. Ooh, 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 no. Okay, so the other thing we need, and I will show a clip of it, is a cutting mat. Uh, this is a multi-purpose tool that I highly, highly recommend. And then you're gonna also need a non-stick mat underneath. I just use a KitchenAid, like, cookie mat. And that grips grippy nice to the table. And then on top, you know those um those ru non-slip rug things that you put underneath a rug? I bought a huge thing of it and then cut it up. And I use these to put my linoleum block on top of. And that way when I'm pushing down and carving, it, do it doesn't slide and slip. It's like extra grippy. All of those things combined. And you might also need some scissors. This is an example of what I carved yesterday. So this is, that's why I said get the scissors so you can cut around it to cut off any excess if that's the style you're going for. So there is a carved piece. So you've got your carved thing. Now onto the printing. So first you're gonna need ink. You can use a water-based ink or an oil-based ink. I've never used water-based ink so I can't speak to it. Maybe you wanna compare the two. Look on Reddit and see if anyone's talked about it. I've got, um, like, black is traditional. I would recommend linseed oil or an extender. This helps reduce tack and improve ink transfer. And legitimately, it does. I noticed a huge difference in my ink transfer when I used this last night. A little palette knife to mix your extender and your ink. Some brushes, but you you, you might already have these lying around, but at least have a brush or two. And like some acrylic paint. That's for like pre-carving, so you can see where you're carving. It'll give you an idea of what it's gonna look like inked. To roll the ink out on, get an old picture frame and take the glass out, or this is not glass, it's like the plastic, but it works just fine, but you, you want something like this that you can keep clean, completely clean and wiped free when you're not like squirting the ink on there. And then you're gonna need one of these guys, these rollies. This is just speedball. You're gonna spread the ink and roll it on there. We'll get into process in um, another video. I wanna go in depth on how to lino cut. This is mainly just what you need to get started. Once you have transferred the ink onto the linoleum block you're going to press the paper on top and you need firm pressure to get the ink to transfer for that you're going to need one of these guys and a metal spoon or a wooden spoon because this usually isn't enough pressure to transfer the ink this is just what you do, press it down for kind of an initial, get the ink to stick to the paper. But this spoon is what you're gonna use to actually push the paper down onto the print. And last but not least, you're gonna need paper towels. One of the things is it gets kind of messy 
when you're you know rolling the ink onto the lino and then you're grabbing probably paper speaking of when you talk about paper um, but yeah you'll be grabbing the paper and you might have some ink on your hands and then you get splotchy paper so just it's useful to have to just wipe up any thing on your hands really quick or on the table really quick and you are going to need paper there's a few different types you can get but the thinner the better you want thin paper like mulberry or rice paper I have found some on Amazon that's like Korean paper and then there's also just almost like sketch pads full of this kind of paper the reason that you want it to be so thin is because that helps to transfer the ink if you are pressing by hand if you have in one of those rolling presses um, you can start to use thicker material but I'm guessing that you're just gonna start out with hand printing and if that's the case the thinner the paper the better the results the better the transfer okay I believe that is all you need to get started I am Lexi K. White, fine artist. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. I hope you get started lino cut printing. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you want to see more of this type of video content, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up if you liked this. Thank you. All good in the head. I'm doing great. <sighs> la, 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 la. I really need to look up the names of things because... Uh, I sound like a like an amateur. <laughs> Let me look up the names really quick. Um, yeah. Oh shit.